Hey guys, Cassie TV here with another YouTube video, and we're going to be talking about Harvest League going core or not, and my personal opinions and my feedback basically from the experience we've had so far. So we're going to go out from our fields and into our garden. Um, I made recently a tweet where I asked in a poll if people wanted this league to go core or not, and it was very, very very divided in the community. It was basically a 60-40, 60, 60 being in favor of it not going core. And I wanted to express my well, my concerns as well as my opinions in this entire uh, process. But before we talk about it going core, I just wanted to mention that I have been having a lot of fun with crafting. Now, I'm I'm a big fan of crafting in general. Yo ho ho, in the bottle of rum. Thanks so much nice for the donation. YouTube videos, great stream helpful community all right thank you i appreciate it let's move on uh <laughs> so one of the problems i've had was farming seeds like you can do tier one seeds farming on the lower tiers but as soon as you want to craft higher item level items then you're in a situation where you need to do tier nine maps or higher and it's turned out to be much much more efficient to just run tier nine maps to spam up the seeds because they, they're very easy to drop and you can get that shit sorted very very smoothly not a big fan of that specific uh, process myself uh, but that's something that was been been required to generate energy to store in your tanks to then uh, pop your higher tier seeds like your tier twos, your tier threes, your tier uh, and and your tier fours as well. Which we actually have a tier three and a couple of tier fours ready to blow soon. Um, so that process was a bit annoying. And then with the crafting, like as soon as you actually popped a big tier three seed, then you got usually too much energy. At which point you could create a shitload of the horde crafting station. So now I have too many of these, if you will. But uh, it's a bit messy because the thing is, you don't have to play, connect them to do the crafts. As you can see here, I've used some of these crafts that had three first. And uh, then I have to connect them to basically uh, fill them up with three again. And when they have three, then I'll take them away and I just shove them down in my stash instead. Which also indicates that it will, would be promote people to get more stash tabs, which you know a lot of people have different opinions about. Um, but if you take away the uh, the really annoying parts of the garden, uh, I've actually been enjoying the system quite a lot, even though that it could use a lot of extra quality of life features. So with that said, um, I'm going to show you how my stash looks with the crafts. And I've been crafting a lot, so I've actually been using a lot of these uh, hoardy crafting stations, and I haven't been spamming maps too much. But basically, I have two stash tabs uh, with crafting stuffs right now with three crafts each, which I've been searching for if I want to have removed cast, for example. I've had plenty of removed cast and modifiers and whatnot, so it's been easy to save in that sense. Um, something I'm not very happy with when it comes to the, the garden is actually the, the garden boss fight. Uh, this is me doing the bo boss fight. Granted, I have, I'm playing a high budget build doing about 157 million shaper DPS, so will be a link in the description below to that video. Um, but basically, the process here is that we opened the fight, and before we got to experience any of the other phases, the, the boss fight was already over. And this is two-man HP. Uh, so yeah, that was that was extremely disappointing. No, I, mean, I, 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 I understand that not everyone will be able to do this type of damage. But it's like the, the fight didn't have any immunity phases, which I think a lot of people would argue for it to be a good thing. But that's basically my experience with the league so far. We've been crafting some mirror tier items, uh, helmets, shields, and whatnot. Having a lot of fun with crafting. But it kind of takes the edge off for the super big item crafts. And um, for someone like myself that likes to craft super high end game items, the hitting the biggest item is fun, but not as fun as it would be when it was really hard to craft. Now it's so deterministic that it's so easy to craft, making the crafting process with Harvest way too overpowered, in my opinion. However, so to talk about how it would be approached for someone that is a casual player, I think that this league has been a godsend when it comes to introducing crafting to players that don't really bother or never really wanted to craft because it's been such a complex mechanic in general. So I think in that sense, this league has been a perfect approach to include or promote learning crafting to the casual player in the community even though it still requires you to check out mods and craft to XL or PVDB mods, you know, all of these external websites, which you already are forced to use if you want to play this game at a higher rate, if you will, even from ranging from trade sites to the wiki to checking tags and whatnot. So it's it's already there, and people seem to be complaining about the fact that you need to use their extra websites 
Um, but in reality, they already are using a tons of extra websites to play the game in the first place. I don't see what the problem is in that. I do agree, though, that it's getting a little bit too much. Uh, so that's my opinion. But obviously, I think the crafting is way too overkill. And uh, I do believe it was Tarki who mentioned in the tweet that I made that um, it Harvest can be very well utilized from, uh, by GGG as a template to improve cra the crafting process in the game in general, maybe not during this year, but at least for PoE 2, to make crafting a better system for everyone in the game, not just the high-end or craft, but also make it more accessible to the players that are playing casually. You know, the people that actually have a life that don't play a couple of hours a day maximum, those people will actually be introduced to actually use the crafting. So my question to the community is basically uh, straightforward. Do you think the league should go core? Um, and if yes, why? If no, why? And if you think you should be introduced in a different way, I would love to hear what you guys have in the community to say in what way you would change it so that it wouldn't be as overpowered and market-destroying as it currently is. Because uh, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this because I think that there's a lot of ways that it can be tweaked to work for that. Uh, but also to, to mention with this topic and this question is a lot of people that have been arguing for it to be going core have said that they are afraid that the league will not go core in any way or kind because of how well it has introduced people into crafting. And then we have the other side of the spectrum where people hate the league because it's forcing you into crafting, which they don't want to do anything with whatsoever. So it's a very interesting topic. And I was pretty surprised that the uh, the split of the poll I made on Twitter had a 60-40 uh, difference uh, between yes and no to go core. So again, let me know in the comments below. And that's basically all the information I have for um, today's video. I just want to talk to you guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying the league. I'm sure it's fucking enjoying it. And um, yeah, that's about it. We'll probably post some more craft videos and make a new build in the coming days. So hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay safe. Keep rocking.